Okay, we just got the uh, HS-175D uh, drone out of the box. We've been playing with it, trying to get this thing figured out. We've got it set on a board so it won't chew up some grass. Uh, Seth has got the remote control with my phone in it. Uh, we are getting ready to take off. Let's see what we can do on this thing. And then we're gonna, did you did you unlock the, unlock the motor? So when you do, okay. All right, now then. There it goes. Brand spanking new. Let it go up a little bit. There you go. And what we're going to do is we're going to also do some recording of the video from a right. The video is this one. It's going to record the video as we are going. We're looking at the GP, the this little thing and it's a little bit scary having having something rotating that fast over your head and we've got it in slow-mo so that we can sort of get an idea of what we're doing we're out here in the middle of the yard making sure we're way away from trees and high lines and buildings and our shop we don't want to dent our shop we've got all this stuff around us seth is playing with it this thing has a 23 minute battery when it goes uh, dead, we've got another 23 minute battery and then they actually will, they will actually uh, take about 150 minutes to charge. So, so anyway, but anyway, we get a little bit of play time, a little bit of recording time and uh, we're just learning this, this uh, drone, our newest, our newest uh, toy. Anyway, there's quite a few steps to get this thing to where you can take off with it and, uh, I went over to the neighbors a while ago and chased a bird off their antenna. As you can see, their antenna is about 55 foot tall. I helped build that. And so we are learning this little drone as we speak. Fly it way over there, Seth. Over that, over towards the cows. See what you got filming. I need to go down a little bit. You can go up a little bit if you want. Just, hey, don't fly it towards that tree. I know. He's got the phone locked in. This has a about a 1,500 foot range and not supposed to go over about 390 feet in the air. Go up, Seth. You're getting close to them trees. It's way over there. I don't know if you can see it. But it's way, we can see it, but I doubt if you can see it on this camera. Anyway, he's way up above. What you looking at over there? Pretty cool. Fly Pretty down. Nice. See, going up higher, and let's look over at Wade and LaDonna's and see what they've got. You can see everything that the neighbors have. Ooh, there's their pond that they've got a bunch of catfish in. And bass. And bass. Make sure you get up high. Okay, you're fixing to lose it behind the tree. So bring it back towards us. Do you to return to home? Uh, yeah, hit return to home. So he's got a return to home button. And when he does, up oh, here it comes. It comes back and it's gonna, I doubt if it'll land back on our board, but it's gonna get close enough to where, here it is, here it comes. Boom. And now it's gonna hover right above us and it's going to work its way down work its way down work its way down that's a cool feature it also has a follow me feature it's gps and so so it missed the board a few feet by about five or six feet but gets it within close range and seth's already said oh buddy we can scout the deer territories with this thing so that's what we're planning on doing we're going to use this and we're going to capture some neat video hopefully and we're going to start from there so he's putting it back on the board and let's try it again seth dog hasn't noticed it yet
All right, so we're gonna pause this video right here. What do you think about it, Seth? Pretty cool. So so far, it's pretty cool, isn't it? He's a uh, he watches the drone, which we should be watching the drone more than we watch the screen, which is the camera for the drone. So stop. <laughs>